Hey, come on, Harry. Buzz me through. What you got there? Sheesh. Is this guy a mess of what? That's nothing. You should have seen him before. Guess he won't be dating again. And like he's ever getting out. He's a psycho killer. Sweet. What'd he do? That's classified. Like you even know. Why do they keep these losers alive? The lab wants it. As what? A crash test dummy? Who knows? He's been wired up to a box all summer. And maybe he's curing cancer. Hey, did you see that? Do you think he can hear us? He can hear all he wants. Hey, Doc, more monkey juice over here. Ah, uh, yes. Be careful with that one. Let me see. Hold his arm a moment. Why can't I remember anything? Ah, I gotta get this door open. I guess that switch out there opens the door. If I could just press it somehow. Ah, I don't understand what's going on at all. And what happened to those straps holding me to the bed? I woke up. I noticed them. I imagined them undoing. Did I undo them with my... This is insane. Of course I didn't do it. I'll prove it to myself. I'll try and do the same thing with that switch. I'll just focus my attention on it and see what happens. Whoa! How the...? Either I'm going crazy, or I just press that switch from here. I'm free! That'll show them. Nobody messes with... with... Damn it! What's my name? Strange. So much medical equipment, but no patients. I wonder, if I manage to undo those straps and then unlock the isolation cell with my mind, what else can I do? Perhaps I should try concentrating on a few things in this room, and see what I can make them do. This is too weird. Alright then, what else in this room can I control? This is incredible! How did I end up being able to do this? What the hell am I? I've got to grips with my new power. I need to get out of here. Ah, it's no use. 
I don't think I can go on. I, I feel so weak. Uh, what's uh, happening? Uh, uh. Hey, that's amazing. I suddenly feel a little better. An elevator. A way out. So they say. And he didn't even flinch. No. Ah! How did you get out of your room? How can you do that? That's right, Ron. <laughs> Why can't I remember anything? Ah, I gotta get this door open. I guess that switch out there open. Oh, whoa, how the? I'm free. That'll show them. Nobody messes with, with. Damn it, what's my name? Strange, so much medical equipment, but no patients. This is too weird. All right then, what else in this room can I control? I really think I should practice this new ability of mine. It might come in useful. Ah, it's no use. I don't think I... Hey, that's amazing. I suddenly feel a little better. An elevator. A way out. So they say. And he didn't even flinch. No way! That wasn't in his notes. Of course it wasn't. Would you have agreed to work this floor if it had been? Me? That doesn't change a thing. He's safely locked away and drugged up to the eyeballs. I recognize this room. I think I've been here before. something else, okay? He's got out of his cell! Get him! You guys don't know who you're messing with. Uh, I'm in trouble now. I wonder whether I can scare them away using my new telekinesis power. Oh no. I, I think I killed him. I, I just wanted to get out of here. I didn't need to do that. I have a feeling that I was locked up here for a good reason. There's a computer in there. I wonder if it can shed any light on my situation. Well, I was hoping for some patient records. I guess I'm out of luck. A map. This should help me get my bearings. Huh. Nothing useful there. But I still think it's the best way of working out how to get off this floor. the elevator without the proper code.
beings? He, he, he might be falsely... Uh... Right. I want some answers. Damn it! Damn it! I what knew the hell I is this place? To my horoscope this morning. Please don't hurt me. I suppose surgery is the room I'm in at the moment. And this computer is that little red dot. Right. By moving the mouse, I can select different rooms. That's the elevator. By the look of things, it's the only way off this floor. Right. The code for the elevator is 8461. That should come in useful. John Vatic. Doctor Vatic. What happened? I need. I need to remember. Excuse me? Uh, I'm Vatic. Uh, Dr. John Vatic. Ah, uh, finally. Colonel Joshua Stark, U.S. Marines. Good to meet you, Colonel. This way, Dr. Vatic. Thanks. Call me John. Uh, so, uh, what's all this about? Look, uh, I'm glad to be of help, but one day's notice is barely enough time for me We're to get out of time, Dr. Vatic. Can you handle a sidearm? They said my role was strictly advisory. Then advise yourself to get some weapons training. My squad doesn't nurse-made tourists. I'm in a squad now? We'll explain it all at the briefing. 1800 hours. Be there. OK. 
Okay, military training. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. I guess I should find okay, someone who knows what's going on. The colonel thinks you could do with some physical training before you're given a firearm. I'm Cotelli, comms expert. Follow me and we'll see what kind of shape you're in. Okay then, let's just cover some basics. Firstly, some simple climbing. Watch me and follow over these walls. Just walk into and over. It's that easy. Good work. Keep it up, Vatic. <clears throat> Excellent. You may be a pen pusher, but it looks like you keep yourself in good shape. Well done. Okay, through here and on to the next area. Jackson will continue your training. Vatic, get yourself over here. <laughs> Try and stay out of the water. Use your head, Vatic. Let's see if you can get around this problem. Okay, let's see that upper body strength. Make your way along the edge. Over here, Dr. Vatic. Right, Jackson's the name. Let's get to work. You proved you can climb walls, but what about using cover? Lean against the wall of this block. Now, move along the wall. Try leaning out and peeking around the corner. Good. Now, try peeking and push into the corner. You should move around onto the next wall. Come on, Vedic. We haven't got all day. Practice this technique by making your way completely around the block. Okay, crouch whilst against the wall to use the cover. You'll move slower when crouching like this. Right. Hide and seek. Get to the other side of the end block and try to sneak back past me to the tunnel entrance. We're not finished, Vatic. You sure you want to skip this part of the training? Okay. Well, make your way through these pipes. Try to 
get all the way to the compound gates without being spotted. Take your time. Learn to watch people's behavior and find a way through. Looks like there's hope for you yet. Go see JC at the rifle range to continue your training. All right, I hear you're finally ready for your pistol training. Come on, this way. First of all, I want to show you how to aim your weapons. Take this pistol and aim it at the indicated target in front of you. That's good. Now, move your aim to the next indicated target. That's good. Now, move your aim to the next indicated target. All right. So that's how you lock on to and cycle your aiming between individual targets. Next, we'll look at fine-tuning your aiming. Okay. Lock on to indicated target as before. Good. Now, gently adjust your aim until you're pointing at the head region on the target. Excellent! That's it! Now you know how to aim a firearm. Of course, knowing how to aim is pointless without knowing how to fire. Luckily, firing is the easy part. Just keep your aim steady, and then squeeze the trigger. Here, take this ammo and fire it all into the range. Practice everything I just showed you. We'll continue on once your gun's empty. There you go. Feels good, huh? <laughs> Alright, now it's time to put all this to the test. Take these bullets and see how many of these targets you can hit. You'll get bonus points for head impacts. You're going to need 250 points before I let you proceed with your training. Get into position and wait for my signal to start. Go!
Great shot! That showed a lot of promise. Maybe the Colonel was right about you after all. We'll continue your training in the next room. So follow me through. Okay. Here's what to do. There will be a number of hostiles taking up strategic positions in this room. You'll need to use cover if you want to beat them. Crouch behind a barrier and stealth against it, like Dex showed you before. Good. Now try leaning out with your gun raised to acquire a target. You can lean left, right, or even up over the barrier. Different targets will be easier to eat from different shooting positions. Okay, now we're ready to start. Each hostile will take three hits from your training weapon before they give up. The lights on the barrier will indicate how many hits each has taken. You'll fail and have to try again if you sustain too many hits, so be careful. All right, get into position and wait for my signal. Three, two, one, go! can perform like that in a combat situation too. All right, let's move on to the next phase of your training. Come on, follow me. Okay, Varric, make your way to the compound gate. This time, you'll need to shoot your way through. You don't have to run and gun, though. Remember your stealth training. It might be better to choose your shots carefully and keep the situation under control. Don't worry about being shot. These test starts sting a bit, but they're harmless. If you're taking too many hits, I'll call you back. Just remember, the real enemy don't fire blanks, and neither do we. Take this seriously, and you'll do okay. This is the way to the briefing room, but I haven't finished my training. If I go through here, I'll skip training. I don't think the colonel will be too happy. 
Done, Varric. Looks like you learned something. Franklin wants to see you back at the firing range. Don't keep her waiting. Hello, oh, Dr. Vatic. I'm Franklin. I'm here to show you how to handle a sniper rifle. Come this way. You've been here previously, so you already know what to expect. 
It's pretty much the same as before, except for one main difference. This time around, you'll be practicing your long-distance skills. So take this sniper rifle and get yourself into position. You'll need 250 points to satisfy me. And as before, bonus points will be awarded for headshots. All right, get ready. Go. Deadly. Nice work. I'm impressed. Well, that concludes your training, Doctor. It's time we headed to the briefing room for the lowdown on our mission. Come with me. expressed some concern that his research could be a threat in the wrong hands. We've managed to verify his identity as Victor Grianko, seen here studying in St. Petersburg, where after boasting he would revolutionize psychology, he was kicked out for unethical practices. Nine years later, he found a happy home with the Germans, running experiments into psychic phenomena at a POW camp on the Belo-Russian border. In 1944, the Red Army liberated the camp and claimed that Grianko was killed in the assault. However, rumors soon surfaced of a research project initiated by Stalin in Western Siberia, which ties in nicely with his recent appearances at the U.S. hydrocar pipeline being built outside Tiumen Oblast. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like you to go and find out what Professor Grienko has been researching for the past 50 years, and why he's so desperate to be granted political asylum. Colonel. Thank you, sir. The Pentagon has given us permission for a small team insertion. The Winter Ice Squad will drop here at Tiumeno Blast, just 30 clicks from the hydrocar pipeline. From there, we will track down Grianko and his research. Any questions? Yeah. Are you crazy? No, Dr. Fatty. Any other questions? How did the U.S. approve anything so politically risky? That's classified. Well, then how did you confirm psychic research? Also classified. Then why do you want me here? <sighs> we down. Our advisor tells us we may need your expertise on the ground. Okay, well, my expertise says that it's a fraud. I debunk psychics, I don't confirm them. 
Perhaps you never met a real one. Meet Jane Wilde, Dr. Vatic. Uh, I know who she is. She's a mystic. She's a fake. She's your advisor? Hello, John. Good to see you again. Every time I publish, your special advisor attacks my work for being straitjacketed by the scientific method. Doesn't the scientific method call for weighing evidence before drawing a conclusion? Exactly. Then how do you know Grienko is a fraud? Why? Well, I... I'm not going to Siberia. A pity. Because no one else can save us.